Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. You can now use the promo code LVD at checkout. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena Games video. Today we're taking a look at another standard deck, and as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, we're taking a look at a blue red or is it birds deck featuring Arclight Phoenix and Stormwing Entity, the new edition from M21. 5 mana for a 3 3 elemental with flying and prowess, but it costs 2 and a blue less to cast if we've cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn, so at that point it's only gonna cost 1 and a blue, and when the entity enters the battlefield we get to scry 2 as well, so we get a pretty great deal if we can enable the entity, and there's no shortage of cheap instants and sorceries to make sure we can play the entity for 1 and a blue. And then the other win condition in the deck is Arclight Phoenix, all the way back from Guilds of Ravnica, still in standard, 4 mana for a 3-2 Phoenix with Flying and Haste, and at the beginning of combat on our turn, if we've cast 3 or more instant and sorcery spells this turn, we can return Arclight Phoenix from our graveyard to the battlefield, where it can attack right away. So these are the two main win conditions in the deck, and then as you'll see we've got a ton of instants and sorceries to help us enable the Entity and the Arclight Phoenix. And then we're also playing two copies of Goblin Electromancer as a 2 mana 2-2 two -two Goblin Wizard, making instant and sorcery spells we cast cost 1 generic mana less to cast. It's not an essential part of the deck, but getting the Electromancer down does make it much easier to cast multiple spells in the same turn. And then taking a look at some of the instants and sorceries in the deck, these are all the instants in the deck, we've got the full playset of Opt for 1 mana, scrying 1 and drawing a card, and the full playset of Shock, dealing 2 damage to any target, and of course having all these 1 mana instants and sorceries makes it much easier to play the Storming Entity on turn 3, and also makes it easier to cast 3 instants and sorceries in the same turn to return our client Phoenix from the graveyard to the battlefield. Then we also have the full playset of Blitz of the Thunder Raptor, another great addition in this deck. 2 mana instant, and then Blitz deals damage to target creature or planeswalker, equal to the number of instant and sorcery cards in our graveyard, and if that creature or planeswalker would die this turn it also gets exiled, so this can potentially deal a ton of damage in this deck, especially once we get to the later stages of the game, can easily take out any creature or planeswalker for just 2 mana. And then we've got two copies of Thrill of Possibility to complement our Cathartic Reunion, which we'll get to in a second. Two mana for an instant, as an additional cost to cast it, we have to discard a card, and then we get to draw two. So this is a way of putting the Arclight Phoenix from our hand into our graveyard, so we can return it without having to actually hard cast it first. So we've got a total of 14 instants, and it is important to have a nice mix of instants and sorceries in this deck, because we are playing Finale of Promise. And these are all the sorceries in the deck, of course Finale of Promise is the big one. X and double red for a mythic rare sorcery, saying you may cast up to one target instant card and or up to one target sorcery card from your graveyard, each with converted mana costs X or less without paying their mana costs, and then those spells are put into exile after we've cast them, and if X is 10 or more, fancy things happen, but that's not going to be the case very often in this deck. But Final of Promise is a great way to cast three instants and sorceries in the same turn to return our client Phoenix from the graveyard to the battlefield, because those two additional spells we cast also meet the requirement from our client Phoenix. And then of course we can also generate quite a bit of card advantage with Final of Promise, since we're getting two spells for the one spell cast, so it's a nice two for one at the very least. And then Finale of Promise also has a great combo in this deck with See the Truth, which is another new addition from M21. One and a blue for a sorcery, saying look at the top three cards of your library, put one of those into your hand and the rest goes on the bottom in any order, but if this spell was cast from anywhere other than your hand, put each of those cards into your hand instead. So if we can cast this using Final Leaf Promise out of the graveyard, we essentially get to draw three cards without actually drawing three cards, so it doesn't get stopped by Narset Parter of Veils, which is a card that's typically quite effective against Arclight Phoenix decks, and Teferi Time Raveler, another big enemy of this deck, as it stops Final Leaf Promise getting back spells from the graveyard, so those are the two reasons why this deck might not have seen a ton of play recently. And then to round out our deck, we've got two copies of Crash Through, giving our creatures Trample until end of turn, and drawing a card, Trample can be relevant if we're making a huge Stormwing Entity with a bunch of prowess triggers, but we mostly just want another cheap cantrip to enable the turn 3 Stormwing Entity, make it easier to cast 3 spells in the same turn for our client Phoenix, and we also want a Sorcery instead of more instants to diversify the types for Finale of Promise, so we can get the most out of it. And then we have four copies of Cathartic Reunion, which is the main way we have of discarding Arclight Phoenix if it's stuck in our hand, so we have to discard two cards as an additional cost, and then we get to draw three. So we can also discard a bunch of lands in the late game to make sure we keep drawing action. And then the mana base is pretty straightforward, six islands, eight mountains, four steam vents, and four temple of epiphany. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. 
All right, we're on the play, and uh, the blue spells are missing. But this hand's actually fine. We've got Cathartic to discard Phoenix and draw more cards. And if we find Finale, we can already get back Phoenix here. Discard Phoenix and a Mountain. Sailor from our opponents. And there's my blue mana. So next turn we can see the truth plus maybe shock and look for finale, which is great now that we have see the truth in circulation. So is this a blue flash deck or a blue white flyers? All right, opponent moves in with the C dash or octopus. They're gonna get one hidden, but next turn we get to shock it. Another Arclight Phoenix, although we're missing an additional discard outlet. I think I just take Reunion, we've got a few lands to discard. Although this of course could get countered if our opponent's packing some counter spells. And getting Reunion countered doesn't feel great. We'll play Steam Vents untapped and then just Reunion discarding two lands. And then we'll still have Blitz available. Because I do want to get the second blue source in play. Cutthroat's fine. And then I can Shock plus Opt, which will get back Phoenix. So we're opponent on a blue rat, flash, mutate deck. Storming entity. So we'll start by attacking. And then I don't hate Reunion, discarding Reunion plus Temple. Play two mana Entity, even if the Reunion gets countered. Alternatively, I could have just played Temple and passed, and then next turn Hardcast, throwing Entity for five mana. And then I could keep Land in Hand to discard to Thrill, but we can also discard Arclight Phoenix. So if there's a cheap spell on top, especially, yeah, we'll keep the opts, and then next turn I can thrill, discard Phoenix, Blitz, and opts, and get back another arc light. Start with opts. See the truth seems fine. So I don't even have to kill the cutthroat, I can just And then we're looking for finale. Shore Shark muted onto the Cutthroats. Sure. Gonna bounce a Storming Entity, presumably. Blitz can still easily take care of the Shark. Bones down to eight. 
They are looking at their graveyard, so they might have a Lord Drakus in hand that doesn't have a target. The Winged Words might give them one. Kick things off with an opts. Um, yeah, I think I'll bottom this. The only card I'm really looking for here is Finale. Alright, there it is. So I can play it safe and keep the finishes back, but we have blitz sets already, so this seems safe enough. Sure. So we'll blitz after the mutation happens. Bounces Phoenix. And we'll blitz first chance we get. And then next turn I could easily figure out a way to get back the Arclight finishes. With Finale I can cast a Thrill or a Reunion from the graveyard, discarding the other one. And that should be pretty much game over. And our opponent packs it in. We were gonna get back Thrill plus See the Truth, I guess, and then draw three, discard Arclight Phoenix, get both finishes back, and hit for what would be uh, 12 damage because of the three prowess triggers at the very least. Sweet, on to the next one. All right, we're on the play. Don't actually mind this hand. We've got Reunion discarding both copies of Arclight Phoenix. And if we find some more cheap spells or a finale, we can get those back in a turn or two. Alright, so we're looking at a turn four return Arclight Phoenix maybe. Good shock plus storming entity. Don't hate cathartic reunion discarding blitz and a land after playing temple. Don't know if my opponent has any counter spells available here. Let's play the temple first. Maybe that changes our decision. Not a reunion on top. Don't really need another one. All right, so next turn we could see Opt Shock plus Thrill getting back double arc lights. Want to start with Opt in case we draw into another arc light Phoenix that we can discard with a Thrill. Or we can play it slow and play Stormwing this turn and then next turn we can enable Prowess a whole bunch. Yeah, we'll just Opt this turn then. Although if I draw an Arclight Phoenix now, I will probably go for it now. No Arclight Phoenix. So we'll play Stormwing. Could have played land first in case they have a 3 damage burn spell, so we can enable Prowess at instant speed with the shock. It's gonna be Brazen Borrower. Alright, that's fine. And then another Stormwing and an Opts. Kinda wanna keep both. And then we'll just pass. 
Wanna wait to have a good target for Shock or Blitz before we maybe get back the Arclight finishes? Is this a team of Reclamation deck, maybe? So I don't have triple blue, so I can't opt and then double Stormwing. Maybe Thrill discarding a Shock. And we'll start there. Alright, that makes it easier. Now I don't have to waste a burn spell. And we can just see the truth plus opt to look for finale. We've already got double storm wing, I'll take the crash. And then next turn we could enable the Storm Wings and play both of them. I'm happy if Arclight trades for Brazen Borrower, because we can easily get it back again. Fay of Wishes. Maybe gets a Graf Digger's Cage for Phoenix. Or something else. Yep, there's a cage. So we wouldn't be getting back Arclight Phoenix, but that's okay. I can crash, play double Stormwing. Hope they don't have a Storm's Wrath. I guess my opponent could be on a Teamer Adventure deck. That explains the Brazen Borrower and the Fail Wishes. In which case, I shouldn't expect Storm's Wrath. So playing two Stormwings is fine. Now does Cage stop finale? Yeah, it does. So it is pretty effective against our deck. Do I want another Blitz? Not really. Thomas the Phoenix, so that confirms our suspicion of a Teamer Adventure deck. But we can do some serious damage with the Storming Entities. Keep the thrill. And then I don't have to play Blitz here. I'm okay if they chump. And then next turn we can enable Prowess at least twice. Could blitz in response, I'm fine just letting them draw one or two extra cards. As the prowess triggers are more important. Alright, GG's. Looks like the Stormwing Entities are gonna get there. So even against some pretty effective uh, hate fetched up with Fail of Wishes, we managed to get there. Although we were lucky not to draw any additional Arclight finishes or finales onto the next one. Hands okay. Um, we'll need some other cheap enablers here for the Entity and the Phoenix. Don't have a discard outlet yet, but looks good enough for now. 
Electromancer also makes Seed of Truth a much more exciting sorcery to cast. So we're up against a cycling deck, which means we need to find removal as soon as possible for the early flourishing fox that they might find. And then we need to close out the game as soon as possible too, before we die to a Zenith Flare. So I don't think I have time for opts, is what I'm trying to say. A rescuer, all right. So the Electromancer is likely to survive here. And then we can see the truth, look for lands, and get this party started. Stinger. Take three. Shock is nice. And then play Temple here. Reunion lets me discard Phoenix. And if I get lucky, I might draw another untapped land to let me get it back right away. So we've got some options. Yeah, I guess I gotta go for the high upside play here. And then ditch one entity maybe. All right, and we get to see the truth again. Find finale. Get back Phoenix, which is gonna have to play defense here. I don't think I can take another hit. But now if we can find a shock or a blitz, we'll be very happy as we can maybe cast it a second time with Finale. So I could Finale, but it's only for card draw spells and there's no instance in the graveyard. So we'll start with Opts. Another finale can bottom. See the truth. Still no removal. I really just need to find some spot removal here. Sir Point's got five cards in graveyard, so not quite that to a Zenith Flare, but we're getting close. Blitz also exiles, so that's useful against Lurus and against Zenith Flare down to six. If they have two more cyclers and attack with all, I could be dead. All right, so I guess I need to just kill them now since we're probably not getting another turn. So we'll start with See the Truth. There's another Arclight Phoenix. So I can keep the Phoenix and discard it with Reunion using my Finale. That seems good. So I can finally for two and then still crash through. I guess I might as well play Mountain. Opt and Reunion. Discards Phoenix and Lands. Another Phoenix I won't be able to discard unless I draw another Cathartic Reunion or Thrill, so I guess I'll keep it actually. 
All right, there's Cathartic. So we're getting two copies of Arclight Phoenix back. Is that enough? It's not quite enough, sadly. Yeah, it's only 17 damage. It's a good effort, but uh, it's not going to win me the game. If I stay back, there's no chance I get another turn here. So we'll go out in a blaze of glory. Yeah, close one. If we weren't on the defensive early on and got one extra attack in with our client Phoenix, that could have made a difference. But what we really needed was like an early shock or blitz to take out the Stinger and the Rescuer, so we weren't under that much pressure. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw. Hands not particularly exciting, but I think I still keep. I think I keep Reunion. Blitz might not be amazing in the matchup, and then we can discard a few of them at once. Cunning Nine Bonders, so. A blue flash deck. Which means my reunion's likely getting countered, which we want to avoid here. So we'll take a different approach. Can attack, and then I can shock the Night Bonder. Alright, we'll do it in their upkeep. Alright, they found black mana. We found a second red source. I can probably still attack with the Electromancer. And then I might want to crash through instead. If I find untapped red mana, I might play it to keep a blitz. Otherwise, I'll play temple. But I'm not doing anything. Stormwing's nice. So a good reunion, discarding a shock and blitz and cast Stormwing. It's a little risky. Could just shock their face and play Stormwing. It's a bit of a waste of a shock, but it's less all in in case they counter the reunion. I think I could still go for a reunion. Get sabotaged. At least the Blitz is nice and powerful now. And then Arclight Phoenix... I don't mind keeping, since we can finally getting back Reunion and discard it. So yeah, we'll keep it on top. We can also just hardcast it first if we want to. Opponent's still not doing anything. Yeah, let's just hard cast it, why not? It gets great sharked. And then next turn we can maybe get it back. Opponent's still keeping up all their mana. Can try blitzing the shark. Ashok's Erasure, hold splits again in response.
And our opponent scoops it up. All right, on to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. Got the Seed of Truth plus Finale combo with Electromancer making them cheaper. So this hand would like to eventually find one of the birds, the Stormwing Entity or Arclight Phoenix. Island, I can bottom. Electromancer does make this hand look a lot better. Storming Entity, I'll keep. And Arclight Phoenix I don't mind drawing into. Do we want another finale afterwards? Yeah, I think we've got enough fodder for it. And then, uh, don't really want to attack even though they're unlikely to offer the trade. Legion Warboss. Alright, so opponents on a Winota deck. Alright, so we can have a pretty nice turn here. Cathartic discarding Arclight Phoenix Temple. And then we'll just blitz the Warboss. And then next turn we can finally returning Arclight Phoenix. And now that we know our opponent's playing Legion Warboss, keeping back Electromancer to block the 1-1 Goblin is more valuable. Fiend Artisan, another fine target for our Blitz. Fire Prophecy kills a Stormwing. One mana, see the truth. We'll start with Finale. Although if I see the truth and draw into a Phoenix, I can discard it with the Cathartic Reunion. So maybe it is worth it. Take a shock. Finale for two. Getting back Blitz and see the truth. And uh, play Mountain. So we're in decent shape. Sky Knight Vanguard, we can shock. And Grazer's fine. So a Thrill Discard Islands. Kind of want to keep Finale in hand to maybe enable another Arclight Phoenix later. Those are both fine. Can Thrill Discarding Shock draw the Seed of Truth. And attack for three. Hactos, we'll roll the four, so we can block it with Arclight Phoenix, and it is forced to attack. Both of these seem fine. Giving Trample is actually relevant against Grazer. Or I can just kill it with a Blitz. I guess my opponent's just dead here.
but we could have easily played a long game too. Trading Phoenix for Haktos and then next turn getting it back with Finale, See the Truth, another draw 3 coming up. So no shortage of card advantage. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a reasonable hand, especially considering we're up against a Lurus deck, so the shock should be quite good. And then, yeah, finally a nice way to maybe get back the shock later. Missing blue, but I've got some cantrips to find it. And there we go. So turn three we could maybe shock plus Stormwing Entity. Turn on Healer Shock, so this is the mono white enchantment deck essentially. Just play Island and pass, and then I can thrill end of turn maybe discarding Cathartic. But if they move in with an enchantment on the Hawk, we can shock it. So now I don't have my one mana spell for the Stormwing, but that's okay. End of turn, probably just gonna thrill discarding Reunion, or I can just do nothing and next turn thrill plus Stormwing. Dead weight, alright, so they're black white. Let's thrill now then. Land 4 would be useful for finale. Not a shock. So we'll keep the shock, I think, for later. And now I can finally getting back a crash through and a thrill. Sure. Or I can get the Stormwing in play first, so we can apply a bit of pressure. But then I have to shock face. But I still have double finale to then get the shock back. Alright, let's try that instead. This way we don't miss out on a bunch of prowess triggers. And then if we can find an Arclight Phoenix, there we go, perfect. We can keep it on top since we have multiple ways of discarding it with finale. So we can get back Arclight Phoenix next turn. Heartless Act kills the Stormwing. So I want Thrill and Crash Through, I think, because I don't really want to discard the other Finale. And then I would love to find a Seed of Truth, since that's a nice one to get back with Finale. Blitz Exiles, so that's great at dealing with Lurus, in case they have ways of getting it back from the graveyard. Hateful Eidolon we can easily take out. Alright. Six Toughness. I think we can beat that. And there's my Seed of Truth, so if this finds a 1 mana or 2 mana spell, we're good to go. That works. Take an opt. And next turn we can finally drawing three with Seed of Truth. And play a Stormwing Entity. Another Arclight's great, since we can easily get it back. Would like to find another Blitz to answer Lurus here. Keep land in hand to discard. Although we might just be able to kill them next turn.
another Phoenix. So this is perfect. And we get to Shock of Femia. Get back double Phoenix. And could even enable Prowess once more. Well, that was quite a beating. Alright, so our Izzet Birds deck performed quite well today. It is a very decision-intensive deck, as you could see. Lots of tiny decisions with all those cries, with what to keep on top, what to bottom, what to discard with your Thrills and Cathartic Reunions, if you want to play Stormwing Entity first or get back Arclight Phoenix first, and then uh, Finale of Promise also gives you a wide range of decisions. So overall, a deck with a lot of decisions, which some people may like, some people may dislike. I'm personally a fan of making lots of tiny decisions, so I'm a big fan of the deck in general. It is a deck that faces quite a bit of incidental hate in main decks, thinking of Teferi shutting down Finale of Promise and Narset stopping card draw. So those are two Planeswalkers we almost always have to deal with first before we can enact our game plan, which isn't always easy. And Elspeth Conquers Death is another big one, exiling our win conditions and then making our instants and sorceries more expensive on the following turn. And then after sideboard we saw Fae of Wishes fetch up a Gravedigger's Cage, another card that shuts down both Arclight Phoenix and Finale. So there are quite a few hate cards out there for the deck, so if you do take this into a best of three environment, make sure to have an alternate angle of attack after sideboard, maybe a planeswalker that can generate value and also win the game, like Rawl, and there's some other win conditions that you could include, like Crackling Drake is another great example of a card that can win the game and also synergizes quite well in the deck. So there are definitely options out there, you can also add some bounce spells to maybe bounce Gravedigger's Cage for a turn, so you can still combo off, so there's no shortage of answers. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today's gameplay, wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.